Sesame Street Show 2690. Welcome to Sesame Street. Do you know what? There was a fire last night at 123 Sesame Street. And so Susan and Gordon Miles had to go sleep up at Maria and Louise's apartment. And now I'm going to take these bird seed pancakes to Susan and Gordon Miles. Boy, it's going to cheer them up. Boy, are they going to love these. Hello? What? Uh, what? Oh, I don't know. Uh, what? Uh, you it's me, Big Bird. Uh, uh, okay. Can I come in? Yeah, just a minute, Big Bird. Uh, oh, my goodness. Oh. Open the door. Just a minute, Big Bird. Just a minute. Oh. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, hello. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning everybody. Good morning. Good morning. So, how was it sleeping on the floor? Oh. Was it fun? Fun? <laughs> no, no, it wasn't fun. It definitely was uh, not fun, but at least we had a place to stay. Yeah, that's right. Where's Miles? He's in Gabriella's room. Oh. 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 oh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I brought something for everyone to make you all happy. Oh, thank you, Big Bird. Bird seed pancakes for breakfast. You're happy now, right? <laughs> well, right? thanks, Big Bird. You know, I'm, I'm happier just knowing that you went to all that trouble for us. I knew it. <laughs> you know, maybe breakfast is a good idea. I'll make some toast. Maria, Maria, I, I can't eat right now. You know, I got to see what the apartment looks like. I have to see how bad the damage is. Well, you know, honey, maybe it's not so bad. Well, there's only one way to find out. I'll come with you. Hey, go ahead. I'll stay here and watch Miles and Gabriella. Okay. And I'll stay here and eat the birdseed pancakes before they get cold. Uh, ah, good. Thanks, thanks, Big Bird. <laughs> You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Boy, you know, I just love helping out. <laughs> J. J for jacket. J, J for jump? J for jerk? Jiggle? Juggle? Is this a joke? Jenny and Jeff. <laughs> hey, come on, let's go. Jenny and Jeff, you get away from that jacket. <clears throat> jacket. J for jacket. So 
The largest bird in the world. The ostrich is found in the sandy waste of northern Africa. Sitting on shallow pits in the sand, this large bird lays the largest eggs in the animal kingdom. The mothers take turns sitting during the day. As the sun sets, the night shift begins. And it's time for the fathers to take their turns sitting on the eggs. The fathers do their share of babysitting and keep the young chicks from getting into mischief. The ostrich eats lots of grapes and flowering shrubs, but they prefer mice, lizards, and insects. The ostrich resembles other big birds. Unlike Big Bird, however, the ostrich has no vocal cords and can only hiss. The ostrich has only two toes, but can run faster than the horse. Capable of meeting the fiercest enemies, the ostrich can kick with his powerful legs. But in general, the noble ostrich prefers to <coughs> run from danger. The end. Yeah. 
not a very interesting. Yeah. What? I want to make other things. It may it could be a, a pinwheel. Pinwheel. I know. A flower. Yeah. A flower. A pretty beauty flower. Yeah. <laughs> pretty flower. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Shadow! <laughs> Shadow! Oh! Oh! Shadow! 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 Hello, Shadow! Hello! 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 Happy, happy, happy. Oh, there, Buck. Is it there? Dama. Doggy, doggy. Woof, 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 woof. Oh, there, Buck. Doggy. Woof, woof. Rabbit. Rabbit. Oh. Bye, bye, Shadow. Hey, can you smoke it? Oh, no, smoke it. Oh, there, oh, there, oh, there, oh, there, oh, there, oh, there. Well, it's about time you showed up. Oscar, what are you doing here? I came to see what your apartment looks like now that the smoke's out. Why, do you mind? Yes, we do mind, but you can stay anyway. Well, let's go in. I'll bet there's lots to see. Well, here we go. Uh, before we go in, I'd like to point out the broken door there. <laughs> And notice the creak you hear when you open it. I see it, Oscar, I see it. the soot and the dirt on the walls. Yeah. That's from the smoke. And look at the curtains. Look at the soot. <laughs> look at the rug. Those footprints are from the firefighters' boots. Well, the fire was pretty terrible, but at least your place looks great now. Looks great. It looks terrible, Oscar. Only a grouch like you could like a place that looks like this. Yeah. But I hate to disappoint you because we are going to clean this place up and get it to look just like it did before the fire. You wouldn't. Oh, yes, we would. Uh. Yeah, I'm going to fix the window and Louise can fix the door. Oh, wow. And I'll just scrub these walls down. Oh. Uh. And, and I can shampoo the rugs, and I'll clean the curtains. Yeah. Yeah, let's get, and we can get everybody on Sesame Street to help us. Well, well before we know it, this place is going to look like it never had a fire. Good. How horrible. How could you do such a thing to me? OK, OK, Oscar. I tell you what. When we get finished cleaning up, we'll give you all of our dirty rags, OK? You happy now? No. 
How come? Well, I won't be happy until I get a hold of those dirty rags. And I won't be able to get them until you stop gabbing and get to work here. Right, right. I'm right. going to go upstairs and change, okay? And okay. then I'll be back. Okay. All right. All right. Later. All right. Okay. Come on, get to work, get to work. Hi, ho, Kermit the Frog here. And today I'm going to talk about the... Uh, I'm going to talk about the... Uh, yeah, it's funny, I think I can smell smoke. That looks like smoke. Hey, is anybody else, can anybody else smell smoke around here? I can smell smoke, Kermit. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, why is that, I wonder? Well, because there's a fire over here. Oh, well, that explains that, because there's a fire over there. <gasps> Because there's a fire over there. Oh, fire, 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 oh, help, fire. You see, that's what you do when you hear about a fire. You call out very loudly, fire, so the fireman will come with his fire truck to put out the fire. Fire, oh, fire, fire, help. Maybe I better call the uh, fire department on the telephone. That's a good thing to do when you hear about a fire, too. Oh, matter of fact, here comes the fire truck now. Yeah, there's a the fire truck. And it's stopping. And here comes the fireman to put out the fire. Hey, froggy baby. Are you doing it, the froggy? I, the fireman. Grover, you, the fireman? Yeah, Grover, good fireman. Oh, well, uh, go get your fireman stuff. We need you. Check. Yeah, I didn't realize that Grover was a fireman. Okay, froggy, here I am. Here with the fireman, ready to go to work. Grover. Now then, froggy, open your mouth. Grover, what, what's okay. going on here? Say ah. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, Grover, what, what, are you, what are you doing? You do like not this? look very good, Froggy. Uh, Grover. You're kind of green all over. You're let supposed me, to be a fireman. Let me hear your heart. Oh, uh, well, look. Oh, uh, Grover. Your, your heart going pity pat, pity pat. Oh, of course, okay, my heart's going pity pat. I make you feel better now. Listen. Uh, Grover. What you do? Wait a second, wait a second. Whoa, 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 what? Uh, wait, it's wait. A, it's a doctor that listens to a heart and makes a person say ah and makes him feel better. A fireman puts out fires. He does? Yes! Oh, gracious, I cannot put fires with this stuff. Well, I know you can. I am, I go get my fireman stuff. <laughs> oh, you still do not look very well. You should lay down. Uh, Gro Be back! Uh, I hope he hurries. This smoke is getting worse. Okay, here comes the fireman! And I got my pitchfork, and I'm all ready to put out the fire. A pitchfork? Yeah, and if that doesn't work, I got some cows and chickens and, and a barn over there. Over, wait and a I, second. And I got hold uh, some hay. Wait whoa, 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 hold it! Hold it! That's a frog talk! Go ahead, Frog. That's a farmer. The farmer has the cows and chickens and a pitchfork. <gasps> is that right? Yeah. What's the fireman supposed to have, the Froggy? Fireman, the fireman is supposed to have a, a hose so he can squirt water and put out the fire. Oh, Froggy, I'm sorry. See, what happened was I didn't know that it was supposed to be a fireman like that. And what happened? Don't get to... it! Ah! I'm going to get this! Oh, Frog is so emotional. And, and, and hurry up because the smoke is getting worse. <gasps> Here comes the real fireman now. All set. Oh, okay, with the good. fire. At last, you're oh. a fireman. Okay, right this right, way, Right, okay, Mr. coming. Now that's why. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Where's the fire? How's the fire doing? Oh, great. It's the oh. best campfire I ever made. Would you like a marshmallow? Oh, yeah. Hi, <laughs> Grover. Do you want a marshmallow? Go away. Birds in the sky. Beasts on the land, fish in the sea, and bugs in your hand. It's the Sesame Street Creature Feature. Today's creature is the goat. So where's my treat? What you got to eat? It's time for meal time, all the time to make my day complete. So where's the snacks? Now give me all the facts. I got an appetite. That won't let me relax. The selection on my bill of fare is varied, that is true. And looking at your clothes and shoes and ears, maybe I'll take a nibble of you. So, where's the meal? How you think I feel? I'm always hungry, and that's the thing I can't conceal. Don't get my goat, give me that food, cause that's the deal. Come on. Today I'm gonna tell you about the word surprise. Just what is it? The surprise. Well, a surprise is a feeling you get when something happens that you didn't really expect. Something catches you napping or staggers you or throws you off your guard. It's a lot of fun or scary or really exciting. A surprise turns up all of a sudden, out of the blue, pops up from nowhere, drops out from the clouds. A surprise can come like a thunderbolt. 
or creep up from behind. People with birthdays love them. Bears hate them. Surprise! Now, although somewhere a surprise is about to happen someplace, nobody really knows where, or it just wouldn't really be a surprise. Wash your hands before you eat. Wash your hands before you eat. Brush your teeth after every meal. Brush your teeth after every meal. See your doctor and your dentist. See your doctor and your dentist. We all need checkups, no matter how good we feel. Oh, how lovely life will be if we keep the ten commandments of hell. Commandments of hell. Cover your nose whenever sneeze. Sneezing. Cover your mouth when you're coughing too. Cover your mouth when you're coughing too. Dress warmly in cold weather. Dress warmly in cold weather. And you won't have much coughing or sneezing to do. Oh, how lovely life will be if we keep the ten commandments of hell. One thing I say a lot, take care of the life you've got, it's such a precious commodity, exercise to keep in shape, exercise to keep in shape, bathe or shower when each day is through, bathe or shower when each day is through, eat lots of fruits and veins. Eat lots of fruits and vegetables. You give your body all the sleep that it's due. Oh, how grand we're gonna feel. Cause we'll keep the ten commandments of hell. The ten commandments of hell. Oh, hi. Everybody's here, and they're going to help Gordon and Susan fix up their apartment after the fire. That's right. We're cooperating, working together. Hiroshi, Mike, Miles, and I, we're going to scrub the soot off these walls. And I'm going to help Louise put a new lock on this door. And Gina and I are going to put in this new window. And I'm going to vacuum this rug. And I'm going to do the most important part of all, and it's this. Ready? Get set? Go, everybody! Everybody, stop! What'd you say? I Hey, 
corn. Acorn. Some kids don't rope for fun, but we're practicing for a contest. We practice every day. And just like a football team, we have to warm up by stretching our muscles. And like a football team, we have a coach. Spin the other way with the split. Stefan and his team have gone to many contests and they show us how they've won. Nine, ten, eleven, clean, exit. Ready, roll. Good luck. Begin. Just move what I said to do, Tanya. One, two, three. We jump with two ropes. It's called double touch. Two, three. Pick up. Move up. Pick up your feet. Just like that. One, two, three. Four, Tanya. Pick up. Tanya. One, two, three. We call our team. The Dynamic Force Juniors. Don't stop it. Stefan's like a big brother to us. He's a great teacher. You gotta get in the rope and stay just together. And one foot, all right? One foot. All right. We have to work very hard and practice over and over again to learn the tricks. All right, knee kick. This is what I do. Come. Knee, kick, knee, kick, Chris. This foot first. Up, back, up, back. So do knee kick. Take the ropes, man. Do knee kick. This one. Knee, back, like that. Like that. Right. This took place in Maryland. We met kids from all over the United States and Canada. Part of the contest was to see how fast we could jump. But all of the teams had special tricks they had spent hours practicing. Once you start, all you think about is doing a good job and having fun. Judges are ready. Jumpers are ready. Timer. Even if you make a mistake, you just keep going.
Sam went second place. Next year, maybe we'll be first. ¿Qué es esto? What is it? Un gato. A cat? Sí, es un gato. He went on the darkest night. There's something bright to set my fancy free. I have made a special little list of what means most in life to me. Come, we will count together. One, a nice house that's haunted so there's company. Two, a nice ghost who's friendly and can come to tea. Three, a fat spider spinning in the gloom. Four, a lovely cobweb to decorate the room. Ah, five, a flight of stairs that creak in the dark even when there's no one going up and down. Six, a quiet castle on a rainy night when there's no one else around. Isn't it restful? Seven, a doggy that's howling at the yellow moon. Eight, cold shivers on a sunny summer afternoon. Nine, black bats just hanging on the door. Ten, hobgoblins, pussycats and more. All these I love a great amount. And that's what counts when I count to the count. One, a nice house. Two, a nice ghost. Three, a fat spider. <laughs> Four, a lovely cobweb. How pretty. Five, a flight of stairs that creak in the dark even when there's no one going up and down. Six, a quiet castle on a rainy night when there's no one else around. Isn't it restful? Seven, a doggy that's howling at the yellow moon. Eight, brrr, on a sunny summer afternoon. Nine, black bats just hanging on the door. Ten hobgoblins, pussy cats, and more. All these I love a great amount. And that's what counts when I count to the count. <laughs> yes, I love it. Hi. Are you the bridge keeper? Yes, I am the bridge keeper. <laughs> Oh, good. Uh, anyone crossing by my border must do exactly as I order. Any shape, like a circle, that you carry today must be eaten or thrown away. Now open the bag. Let's see if you have any circles. It's just groceries. Aha! Cookies. Cookies are circles. Look, all of them perfectly round. They are definitely circles. They must be eaten or thrown away. And it's very wrong to throw food away. Okay, okay, then I'll eat them. And what is this? A pizza. Thought you'd sneak it by me, huh? Look at this, a great big round circle. Why, there are even little circles inside the big circle. Eat the pizza. Okay, okay. Uh, how about this watermelon slice? It's a circle, isn't it? Yes, definitely. Looks just like a wheel, and wheels are circles. You know what to do. All right. You may pass. Well, I, I didn't come up here to cross the bridge. Then what are you doing here? I just came to deliver your groceries. There. Done. No, we still have this spot. Oh, thanks. There we go. Oh, good job, Mike. Thanks. You guys did such a good job. You're such good friends. Thank you so much. Oh, oh no, 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 no,
And you know, we sure did a good job. Yeah. Gordon should see this. Oh, he will. He just went down in the basement. You know, that's where the fire started. He just wants to make sure that everything's all right. Yeah, the fire started in the basement. That's uh -huh. right. The fire started in the basement? Oh, no. I keep my baby nest in the basement. Oh, it's the little nest I had when I was just a bitty baby. You know what that means? You know what could have happened? It means the nest could have burned up. What if my baby nest is burned up in the fire? Don't worry it, Big Bird. We'll go down and check it out. Oh, yeah. Because then again, maybe my baby nest didn't burn in the fire because the firefighters came right away and they put the fire out in time. Sure. Yeah, but, but what if my nest did burn up in the fire before the firefighters got there? Oh, but that, that couldn't have happened. But it could have happened. Oh. This is terrible, but maybe it didn't. But, oh. Hi. Oh. My baby nest. Oh. What is it? An owl? An owl? Yes, it's an owl. <laughs> Take you now to Kermit the Frog with another fast-breaking news story. Well, I don't know why they call it the tortoise and the hare. I mean, why don't they just call it the turtle and the rabbit? Hmm? Oh, oh. Hi, all. Kermit the Frog here to report on what is being billed as the race of the century, a rematch between the tortoise and the hare. Now, as you track fans will recall, the first time these two met, the hare was a heavy favorite. But the tortoise, using a strategy which he called slow but steady, won the race. And now these two competitors will meet again. In just a moment, uh, uh, wait a second, hold on. I think, I think the hare, the hare is coming to the track. What do you know? Uh, let's see if we can get in a word yeah, with him. Who asked you? What do excuse you me, know? Excuse me, hare. Uh, Kermit the Frog of Sesame Street News. Uh, could you give us a prediction of the outcome of today's race? Yeah, I'm going to win. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, why is that? What do you think? Because I'm fast. <laughs> wow. Fast, see? Mm. Yes, indeed, and uh, and yet last time you lost the race. I took a nap, okay? Mm. This time I'm gonna win. You know why? Uh, because I'm fast. Mm, yes, I think you mentioned that already. Uh, oh, wait a second, listen, listen to that roar. I think here comes, here comes the tortoise, the tortoise, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and look at this guy, mm. pathetic, pathetic. I'm fast, he's slow. I'm fast, he's slow. Fast, slow, fast, slow. Nyeh, 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 nyeh. Excuse me. Uh huh. Oh, he's uh, giving up before he even stops. Uh, uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, it does seem to be true. The tortoise does seem to have left the track. Runners to the starting line. Excuse me. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, the race is about to begin, and there is no sign of the tortoise. <laughs> He's not even gonna try. On your marks! That's no tortoise. He's a chicken. <laughs> Get set! Excuse me. Go! What was that? Uh, that, folks, was fast. Oh, the winner! The tortoise, the tortoise! 
was a winner once again, ladies and gentlemen. He wasn't there. He didn't yes, even. He wasn't. He did. Hey, somebody look up under the rule book. Look under C for cheating. He he didn't. I wasn't. They were. They. I was. He could. I couldn't. They. I didn't. I wasn't there. Acrobat. The letter A. Hi, Grover. Want to dance? This is terrible. Look at it. It's almost all burned up. Hmm. I know, Big Bird. Well, can you fix it? I wish I could. Oh. How about you, Louise? Nobody can fix it, Big Bird. Oh. Oh, I feel so... Sad, Big Bird? Yeah. How do you know? Well, Big Bird, when... When you lose things you love, it, it makes you sad. 
Yeah. It's okay to be sad. Mm -hmm. It's all right. Yeah, that's right, Big Bird. And you know what? Pretty soon, you won't feel sad anymore. I won't? No, you won't. You promise? I promise. You all promise? We, we all promise. promise. Sure. Yeah. 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 That's okay. Yeah. Don't worry. Ah, yeah. uh, hola. Les hablo desde lo alto de la letra A. La A aparece una B al revés con una línea que cruza por el medio. Mírenla, aquí está. A es la primera letra del alfabeto y la primera letra de muchas palabras, como albaricoque, ancla, alfombra, automóvil, animales... Y la A va al principio de arpón. ¡Cuidado! Por poco me... me, me, me... ¿Avión? ¿Acordeón? ¿Armadura? Déjenme ver, déjenme ver... Tenía yo otra en alguna parte. Es que no la puedo recordar. Esa era. Avalancha. Se podría agregar una palabra más a esa lista, claro está. Ambulancia. Greetings, greetings, my friends. I am the amazing Mumford, world's greatest magician. And I've come before you today to speak about surprise. Now, a person feels surprised when something happens he doesn't expect to happen. Let me show you what I mean. Step this way, my dear. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. Now, you look like an ordinary, solid citizen. Well, I certainly feel like an ordinary, solid citizen. But observe, I say the magic word, a la peanut butter. Aha! Uh -huh. What you felt just now was surprise. You were surprised because you didn't expect that lady to just disappear into thin air. I'll bet she was surprised, too. Again, I say the magic word, peanut butter. Oh, oh mercy. Oh, that was so surprising. I mean, I just didn't expect to vanish into thin air like that. Of course you didn't. It was a big surprise when I said, peanut butter. You just don't expect that sort of thing to happen. Again, I say, peanut butter. Oh, oh my. Of course, now you are not surprised anymore, because you know what will happen when I say, peanut butter. And again. Peanut butter. Surprise! <gasps> My goodness! That's funny. I thought he wanted to talk about surprise. Oh. Me love to look out window at night. See all the pretty stars twinkle, twinkle. But you know what me like to look at best of all? The moon. It's so big and round. And you know what moon reminds me of? It reminds me of great, big, delicious cookie. Imagine. Imagine what me do if moon was cookie. Just imagine. If moon was cookie, me think me would be happiest monster you ever see. Me put on a spacesuit, then up through the night. Me ride in a rocket to go take a bite. Me take bite from here. Me take bite from there, 
And pretty soon, we bite everywhere. We eat with both hands, no need fork or spoon. Me chew it all up until there's no moon. What happened? Who turned out the lights? Oh, me know what happened. Me eat moon, and now there's no moonlight. If moon was cookie, it wouldn't be fine. Because if me ate it, then it wouldn't shine. Me come to the window and look up at night. But no little moonbeams would give me their light. So me not like to say it, but it clear to me. It lucky the moon is not a cookie. I'd been on the case all day without a clue. Nothing to lead me to the crooks. Then I looked down, and there it was, a line right on the street. This was the break I needed. Then the line stopped and there were a bunch of dots. If the crooks wanted to confuse me, they failed. The solid line was back. Aha! A pattern. I hurried forward. Sure enough, after the line, there were the dots again. I looked back the way I'd been. First, a solid line. The dots. A solid line. Dots. A definite pattern. What comes next? Let's see. Line. Dots. Line. Dots. And next, a line. And there it was, right after the dots. And after that, from a line to dots. And next, a line. Then, dots. Line, dots. Line, dots. Gosh, everybody, it's nice that you could come and say goodbye to my baby nest with me. And to honor my baby nest, I would like to read a poem I wrote myself. I call it To My Baby Nest. And I drew some pictures, right, Maria? Mm -hmm. Can you show them? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> when I was just a baby, my home was just the best because my granny built me a little baby nest. See, I, I made a picture of the way the baby nest looked like when it was new. <clears throat> I used to play inside it with birds that I'd invite. And long ago, Maria tucked me in it every night. See, there's Maria tucking me into my little nest. Well, when I grew too big to use my baby nest at all, I saved it to remember how I was when I was small. But when there was a fire, I lost my baby home. But when I want to think of it, I'll read myself this poem. So now I'll say goodbye, not very happily, but I'll give what's left to someone who watch over it for me. Oscar? Oscar? What do you want? Uh, will you watch this nest for me, and could you take care of it? Oh, hey, yeah. This is beautiful. This is a piece of art. I love this. I'm going to, I'm going to put this in my living room. <laughs> Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm looking forward to a good night's sleep in my own apartment. Oh, yeah. Good night. Well, yeah. have a good night. Wait, wait, hey, where are you guys going? Well, you said you were going to sleep, so we're leaving. Well, I'm going to sleep after the party. Party? Party? party. What, what party? party? Well, we're going to have a party to thank all of you for being such good friends. Oh, all yeah. right. Nice. Nice. Well, yeah. And it's also a party for Miles for doing such a good job at learning about fires and fire drills. Yeah. yeah. And for the firefighters. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Great job. Yeah. Firefighters. Have yeah. him yeah. parade. Yeah. Have him parade. Yeah. Have him yeah. parade. Yeah. Come on in, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Sesame Street has been brought to you today by the letters A and J, and by the number zero.
Sesame Street is a production of the Children's Television Workshop.